Hi everyone, welcome to the next video. I in this video I'm going to be covering a CV that happened in Keycloak. If you don't remember, Keycloak is a tool uh, that implements OIDC or OpenID Connect. We covered all what OpenID Connect is in the previous video. So if you look at this current CV details, they say that a certain endpoint in Keycloak's REST API allows low privilege users to access administrative functionalities and the flow allows user to perform actions uh, reserved for administrators so which allows you to maybe you know uh, ping other uh, systems like uh, and stuff like that okay so what is essentially the bug so the bug is actually in um, in key clocks LDAP functionality. So they implemented LDAP for integrating with uh, Microsoft systems. So, you know, you can do NDLM connections and thing, things like that. In this specifically, I'll increase my phone a bit so that we can see. So they we can actually test uh, connection, connection of a remote resource or maybe test connection of an LDAP resource that is present. So they are actually checking, they're actually taking in the realm or which realm are we in, uh, the auth, uh, that means the access token and the session to, un to know, uh, you know, hey, is this user allowed to access the these restricted resources so here they are actually checking it so uh, we are, they are checking the session they are checking the auth and they are actually getting the context that is actually you know the get realm context um, and they are setting it but now so this is actually in versions below to 24.0.5 i'm having 24.0.3 this is also there for 24.0.4 now, if you come here, uh, this is a deprecated function, but it's uh, a post request, no caching, and the media type should be form URL encoded. So if you're just sending a normal post request with JSON input, this won't get triggered. Let's see what all are the parameters here. You have action, you have a connection URL, that is the URL that you're trying to connect to. You have the binding destination and binding credentials, like you know the password that you want to send across. Um, the SPI is also there. Um, then connection timeout. Uh, so this is specifically saying if you want to say, you know, LDAP only or something else. Um, then components and TLS if you're using it. So this is if you're using a form URL. But the good thing is that here also they are actually checking if you have the required authorizations. So if you don't have the required authorizations, this would this wouldn't return the details. But if you go down um, to a normal LDAP connection request, so that is a post request. It's a you no know, cache, but it it consumes an application JSON. So normal post request with the JSON format. And but here they are not actually checking the realm, uh, you know, the authorization check. So they are actually just just using a test LDAP config. The developer forgot to add that line here. That is what caused it. So, and it just sends in the response and you're getting the information back. So that is actually a problem. So now when it comes to real life, what would it actually look like? So I have, okay, let's, let's move on to how you set up the system to actually do it. So you have the key clock interface. So these are the realms that I have. Um, so I have a the master that comes with default. I created a new realm here. Uh, I have to log in. I already logged in. Okay, that's wrong password. I log in here. I go into new realm and I go into realm roles. I have a user here, which is not that important. I have two users that I have created. That is the next user and the user. Uh, if you go into clients, you have the normal stuff. So I also created one users, but I'll be using the account or account console, any of these. Uh, but see that I don't have any admin permissions here for this, uh, this particular realm here. If I go into realm roles, it's only basic user role. Um, I haven't defined much 
attributes or anything you know um, and realm settings if I go into realm settings login email uh, defenses tokens okay these are not that important these are the attributes that I'm getting it from but but I'm not really specifying any admin users but if you go into your master actually if you go into clients uh, and you go into users you have the admin user here uh, you have a role mapping to many of the realms that is there uh, but yeah so coming back to the new realm um, users realm roles uh, default roles to new offline access UMA authorization see there are no users here there's only users in this one and I get yeah user registration yeah so, so so basically I created two users in who can just authenticate into this realm that is in a new realm um, I'll show you how I authenticate into it in uh, account management uh, so basically I'm just logging in here so I just I already had the request in so it's I'm just logging into the new realm you have the protocol uh, I'll just take this put it into and I'll just increase the font size okay you have the local host the realm uh, the client ID that is account console I'm redirecting it to new realm account you have the state the response code response type open ID the nonce the code challenge that is preventing the CSR of and it is s256 challenge method so basic stuff that if you don't know any of any of these you can go back to my previous video so here it's a user next uh, user next and password is I guess password Oh shit okay user okay there is spelling mistake here and password oh shit uh, let me just go back and check check my user here users oh it's next user it was not user next it was next user my bad See, it's already here and password is password yes now I have logged in uh, there is nothing much here you're just logging in here but if you go to proxy I have a post request and I have the access token the refresh token and uh, the ID token I only need the access token because this is an authorization bug uh, because they are not checking the authorization I'll take this thing and and the vulnerable endpoint as we have seen is the the test LDAP connection right so I already have my burp open with the repeater here and the request so it's in realms master it's not master it's admin realms new realms so the name of the realm and test LDAP so ideally this user should not be allowed to access this I'm just going to change the authorization token quickly so this token is what defines your authorization level in the system and as per the uh, details I'm just trying a test connection and how am I going to test this out so I need I need an out of band uh, you know uh, out of band testing thing so think of it as like your own server if you so interact access is uh, basically creating your own server kind of is mimicking a server so that DNS request or HTTP request can be uh, you know uh, tested out if a server is actually sending a, a request to servers that it is not supposed to so I create I just ran it and this is the specific URL that I have and you can see I, this was my test cases previously I'll just close it and I'll just run it again just for being unique here I'll have the your taken up and inside of the LDAP I'm actually giving in the 
giving in the site and these are the blind destination these are normal so if it was an actual um, Microsoft server you would actually be giving your domain details and if you somehow got the password to the uh, to the login or to the NTLM login or SMB login you would be putting that here I'm specifying it is LDAP only um, I think there are other parameters that you can specify here uh, and connection time mode keep it alive for you know 5000 seconds now if I send this I got a 204 no content which basically means uh, there's nothing there per se to return back but it it is actually connecting to the to the out of band server so what type of attacks can you actually do so SSRF is a possibility wherein you are actually giving in a you know uh, 192.168.1.1 or some internal IP that you are putting in here it it can check if that is there or not uh, or other thing is that you are actually doing an NTLM relay attack you use IM packet toolkit to set up your uh, SMB server and you actually put in your LDAP uh, and your server name server dot OST or whatever it is and it will connect to there if it authenticates it will give you the uh, tokens or the hashes so these are kind of the attack vectors that are possible here uh, so that is about this particular vulnerability see even OIADC is vulnerable because uh, people do big mistakes they immediately fix this bug by actually adding this line to the um, to the to the test LDAP connection where it's taking an applicant JSON thereby checking if the actual user is authorized to check uh, you know access the test LDAP connection yeah that is about it um, hope you like the video um, so I'll be back next week with another CV uh, or something else altogether so take care have fun stay happy thank you so much